Today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about landing work. Like, what can you do? What helps? What makes it happen? And if you're in business of any kind, this is going to be a good one. So stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. How's it going? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. This is available via YouTube, podcast, anywhere you find podcasts. It's everywhere. So check it out. Four years, 250 plus episodes, all on the business side of window cleaning and uh, can kind of be used for a lot of different things. I get a lot of people who actually listen that uh, aren't even in window cleaning. But anyway, go back. Listen. Hopefully it's good. Uh, Hopefully it's at least decent. And if you are somebody who watches every episode, if you are the cool kid, if you are the the best guy in the industry because you watch me, you follow everything I do, you're friends with me on TikTok, you, you know, have ordered with me and gotten one of the stickers, well, thank you. It is because of you that I get to live the lavish lifestyle that I do. Um... I do appreciate it though. Everybody who lets me put orders in, um, I am a sales rep. So this is the shameless plug of the show, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, every single week I get new people who are like, dude, I want you to be my rep. So I really appreciate it. Everybody who's, I've had people who I've put orders in for the past four years, every order they've ever done. And that's absolutely amazing. So thank you very, very much. And if you want to have a rep, if you want to give back and allow me to put your orders in. It doesn't cost you anything extra, uh, but my cell is 862-312-2026. Just shoot me a text. Be like, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. Run it. And I'll verify an address, pull the trigger on it. Instead of you pushing go, I push go, and I get credit on it. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So pretty rad. Uh, And uh, on a side note, if you are a cool kid who then transformed into an epic cool kid, and you subscribe to American Window Cleaner Magazine. American Window Cleaner Magazine. AWCMAG.com. Well, then you know about the stickers because you've gotten sticker packs. By the way, if you want to buy stickers, we have a ton of stickers for sale. Uh, all these sticker sheets you can buy. Uh, people are just buying like a dozen sheets, you know, stickering everything. They're all window cleaning related stickers and they're super cheap. And that is AWCMAG.com. But get a subscription. Uh, because you want to be awesome, and I want you to get a subscription. Uh, Articles, uh, posters, new gear, giveaways, everything. Anyway, check it out, awcmag.com. Okay. So, uh, shameless plug is done for the morning, and I do apologize about that. Uh, If you are in the South, or I guess anywhere, uh, our spring has come a little bit later than normal actually quite a bit later than normal and the pollen is going crazy so I apologize if you're watching on YouTube uh, I look like I just woke up uh, but it is uh, allergy pollen season so anyway listen you don't have to watch I have a face for radio so listen as a podcast not as a uh, YouTube if you want but anyway today we are talking about landing work and there is so much to getting work, to getting people saying yes, to getting your close ratio up, that somebody who is not good on good at sales, if you're not good at sales or you don't understand sales, you instantly go to price. Those are the people who you drive around and you see, you know, $99 window cleanings and, and uh, you know, $79 roof cleanings and stuff like that. The only thing they think is price. The only thing they can actually understand is that, well, people aren't buying. They're not saying, yes, it's got to be the price. I got to go cheaper. I'll get so cheap that people will say yes all the time. And then all of a sudden you're, you know, too cheap. And people understand that because you are cheap, you're cheap, right? As soon as your price is inexpensive, your quality is is that of something that's inexpensive. So there are always people who will buy on price. I get that. There always will be. And I never, ever, 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 ever want to get somebody just because of that. 
And the reason is, is because there would always be somebody cheaper than you, right? Fair. Everybody, everybody says, I'm not the cheapest in my area. I'm not the cheapest in my area. But there are, somebody is the cheapest, right? These $99 guys, um, if you're just getting into business, again, I don't even think you should start that way, but I kind of understand it. But there's the other guys who just think that they improve their close ratio by being cheaper. They don't have an idea of what makes people buy, right? So that's what we're talking about today. And the number one thing I usually push towards the end, but I'm going to do it first. The number one thing that I think, well, on top of like, you know, read some sales books, be better at sales, is... Don't ask no questions. That's not like grammatically incorrect. I'm not saying, man, don't ask no questions. No, don't ask no questions. Don't ask yes or no questions. When I ask somebody, if I go into a place, uh, we'll say say route, just because I can give you a little bit different example. This could be residential, could be anything, right? If I go into a route job, And I say, hey, I'm Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. Uh, Can I give you a window cleaning quote? They could say no. Right? I could give them the price and go, "Um, uh, is is this a good price? They could say no. After giving them everything, I could say, "Um, can I schedule you? That would be a no question. If you ask a question... And again, this is the psychology of how to communicate. Communication is huge. If you ask a yes or no question, you're prompting a response of yes or no. Instantly 50% chance of saying no, right? If you ask a question that has a answer response, anything, right? If I asked you a question like, what do you like better, uh, ravioli or spaghetti? You're not going to say pizza, right? You're not going to say pizza because that's not one of the options. That's not what I asked you, right? If I say, do you like spaghetti? It's prompting a yes or a no. It's not prompting pizza, right? It's not prompting that answer. That's how communication works. Now, if I did that same thing and I said, hey, what's your favorite Italian food? right? What goes perfect with beer? If you like that kind of thing, right? I can ask a question and have the response answered. Now, if I just ask a yes or no, I could get a good thing. If I said, does pizza go with beer? Well, I personally would say, no, I don't drink. So I don't know. I don't, I don't, whatever right? But there are people who really enjoy that. So some people would say yes, and some people would say no. But nobody's going to answer pizza if you're asking yes or no question. Same thing in in window cleaning. You don't ask yes or no, right? And a lot of times people will say that, or with their confidence, they're actually saying that, right? We'll get to that in a second. But in a big part is the how you're asking a question, how you're translating what you're trying to find, right? I always say, and again, this is just route, but when I walk into a route place, I already have their name written on the sheet. I've counted the windows as I walked up. I don't have to ask any of that stuff. I'm going to go ask, uh, can I talk to a owner or manager? Right? Hey, are you the owner or manager? Right? I'm asking questions to get into that. I'm not ending the conversation. But when I get to price, I don't say, can I give you a quote? I go, hey, just so you know, we're in the area. We do this place, this place, and this place. Uh, I just wanted to stop in and give you a quote on all your windows. Now, here's your pricing in and out. Uh, We always obviously suggest weekly. We're here every single week, so uh, that's the best option for us, keeping everything clean. Uh, Here are your prices and slide it over to them. I didn't even prompt an answer to a question. I didn't ask a question. So what does that do? In the psychology of communication, if I don't prompt an answer, they have to go out of their comfort zone to answer the question that I didn't ask. So if I slide it over and look at them, they go, oh, hmm, okay. 
right? People will always default to protection, right? They're going to put up that, that wall up. Oh, yeah, cool. Will we have a guy right now, right? You hear that all the time. They went out of the comfort zone. I didn't ask, do you have a window cleaner? Because the answer was going to be, yeah, I pretty much knew that, right? But what I did ask without saying anything is, go ahead and look at this. Go, can you look at this price? Right? I didn't ask it, so I'm not getting an answer to it. But I slide it over. They look at the price. They know everything now. They know my company. They know we're in the area. They know we must do good work because we talk to all these other people. They know the frequency and they know the price. They know everything they need to know. Now the conversation really starts, right? I've gotten through every single no question up to that point, right? If somebody calls and they say, hey, I'm just, uh, I want to ask some questions on uh, window cleaning. Um, do you guys do uh, inside and outside? We sure do, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, great. Well, let me get you a quote. What's your address, right? I'm gonna say it that way instead of, oh, uh, would you like a, an estimate? Because there's a chance they're gonna be like, no, uh, I just wanted to know, right? If I ask, okay, great, what's the address? They're not gonna say, no. I mean, they could, but most of them won't, right? So it's how you ask. A lot of times when people, um, when people, when people say that they are having bad luck or uh, the area is too saturated or uh, everybody else is too low, that's why I can't get any work, right? These low ballers are just killing me. It's because you don't know how to sell. If you want to write me an angry email about that, you sure can. But I'm telling you, you should always be bettering yourself. You're literally listening to or watching a window cleaning podcast right now to better yourself in some way. Maybe you don't even pick up anything. You knew all of it. But you're still involved. That's where sales is. You have to be smart enough on the sales side to be able to do the close, right? To get the people to say yes. To understand the psychology. Read sales books. Listen to sales books. You're always selling yourself. You're selling your window cleaning, but you're also selling upsells. You're selling yourself over the next guy. You're, if you're single right now, you're going to sell yourself to a potential mate, right? You're going to be like, well, why should I date you? And you're going to let them know. That's what dating is. Oh, I'm this guy. This is what I love to do, right? So with all that being said, Sales and the asking, it's do not ask no questions. Remember, comfort buys. Comfort is why people buy. Uh, a lot of times people are, right now, you may be thinking in your head, like, this guy's an idiot, which is cool. High five if you think that. But um, you may be thinking that nobody's comfortable. They buy because they want the service or they want the price or nobody is because they're comfort okay think about the last thing you bought let's go back into that right if you went into a car dealership right if you went in and you were going to buy a car and it should be twenty thousand dollars but it's fifty thousand dollars they jack the price up you're not going to buy i'm not comfortable with that price right if you go in and some salesman is a slimy salesman right? And you feel like you're getting pressured instantly. Like I, I got to think about it, man. I'm done. I know I'm good. Thank you though. Thank you. Right. If you're walking through the mall and somebody walks up, Hey, would you like to try this fancy thing? No, no, I'm good. Oh, just go ahead and try it once. No, I'm good. Thank you. No. Right. I'm not comfortable with that way and that approach, right? The comfort is when everything is done. If at the end of the process, they're like, yeah, I'm comfortable with that price. It's even in the ballpark. It's not on price. I'm comfortable with you. You guys just seem like a really good, you know what you're doing. You know, you look great. You look the part. I love that part of I'm comfortable with you. I am comfortable with you coming in my house and I'm comfortable with that date on the schedule. Yeah. Oh man, this is great. Yeah. Every piece works. You're comfortable, right? It's like if you have a uh, date that you're going on, right? And in this date, everything that they're saying makes you feel comfortable, right? If, if somebody you're on a date and that person's like, uh, oh, yeah, my, uh, 
my last, you know, I, I, I have an ex and we broke up because I just I beat the crap out of her. You're going to be like, um, okay, instantly you're not comfortable with it, right? If you're talking to a girl and the girl's like, oh, yeah, no, I like murdered my last husband. So, yeah, I've been in jail for about 10 years, but I'm out now. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, okay, right? You're not comfortable with that. Maybe you are. I don't want to know if you are. But either way, if you're not comfortable with something, you don't buy. Buying just means the transaction is complete, right? Maybe I'm trading money for something, right? Is in window cleaning. Maybe I'm trading uh, yeses or schedules or something, right? A transaction is completed. If I go to you and go, oh, great. You know, we could get you in uh, on Tuesday the 15th between 9 and 10. And you're like, yeah, that works. That's the transaction. It was completed. You're comfortable. You said yes, right? So understand that comfort buys... And that's what you're looking for when you do that. When you put everything together, you're looking to make them comfortable, right? Seven-day rain guarantees. People are like, well, I don't know. I got to reschedule. I think it's going to rain. Let's make you comfortable. Seven-day rain guarantee. If it rains and the rain dirties your windows, within seven days, you call me and I'll touch up any windows that need to. We'll make them look perfect again. We guarantee against Mother Nature. Oh, gosh. Well, if you guarantee that, let's do it, right? Boom. You took my discomfort, made it comfort, and I'm happy with it, right? Well, why should I try you? I don't I don't know, man. I, I just, I've never used you before and uh, I'm kind of on the fence, you know. Oh, I totally understand. You don't know me from Adam, but let me tell you this. Not only on the other guarantees that we have on our service, because we know we're awesome, we also give a 100% satisfaction guarantee, and you do not pay us a dime if you're not 100% satisfied. Wow. Yeah, nothing to lose. You've heard that term, right? People think, oh, man, if I try these because I'm going to lose all this money, they're going to do crap work. I'm gonna... No, absolutely. 100% guaranteed for your satisfaction. We do not leave until you're absolutely satisfied. Now, as the entrepreneur, you're like, um, Okay, so I'm just giving free service. No, never ever have you left somebody's place and be like, oh, good. Did you have a look around? Oh, they look terrible. Okay, cool. We'll see you later. You always are like, oh, wow, what, which, which ones? Let me, you leave when they're happy regardless. But it's just making it clear, letting them know that their worry of not being happy with the service is completely warranted. It's completely, completely comfortable right another big one's usp a lot of people and if you're watching or listening please 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 comment on your usp it shocks me it shocks me at how many people out there in business do not have a usp it's crazy to me it's crazy to me that so many of you don't have a unique selling point to your company Think about this. I'm going to take you and five of your competitors, put you all in a line, right? And now I want you to tell me why I buy from you. Because here's the thing. Before I know anything else, I know I want clean windows, right? All of you are the same price and I want clean windows, right? If you tell me something that the other guys go, oh yeah, I, I'm like that too. That's not unique. That is not a reason I would choose you because I could choose the other guy. A unique selling point is the reason why they would choose you. And now you're in business. You know what you provide. You know the service. You believe in what you're doing. And you know you make people happy. Right? But why do they buy from you? You can't say... Um, I clean, my windows are so clean when I'm done. Yeah, that's what everybody says because they're window cleaners, right? If the only fact that people know is price, right? Because if I call you for a quote, if I call you for a quote right now, you'll give me a price. Well, hopefully you're doing phone bidding. But if you're not, then I have to wait for you to come out. Hopefully not hiring anybody else. 
to waste a bunch of time, make sure I'm home, and then we'll talk about the same thing we could have done over the phone, and then eventually uh, say yes, right? But if I didn't know anything else about you, I got five window cleaners all in line. One guy says, I'm $99. The other guy says, I'm $149. The other guy says, I'm $199. Next guy says, I'm $199. And the next guy says, I'm $249. Well, that's the only thing you know you're going to hire the 99 guy. This is where the low ballers really get into it. This is where they think their landing work is because they're telling them the information. But the problem is, is that the 249 guy or the 199 guy is going to tell you, oh yeah, I know our price isn't cheap, but get this. We have a seven day rain guarantee. We protect against mother nature. 100% satisfaction guarantee. You do not pay us a dime if you're not happy. We're fully insured with a $5 million policy. We run a star rating program for all of our employees that go through training. You can see right there on their name tag picture ID that they have to wear. You can see exactly where they are in their training process. I personally have trained everybody so that our quality and results on top of our experience are absolutely unmatched by anybody else out there. And I stand by that. When you are done, we make it easy, we make it fast, and this is all we do. This is our life. The $99 guy goes, um, well, I mean, we're the cheapest. Are there still people who buy the cheapest just because it's the cheapest? Sure. But guess what? I just sold you a ton on the 199 guy. Because then the other ones go, does anybody else have a seven-day rain guarantee? And they're like, no, no, I'd lose money by doing that. Okay, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Some of them are like, yeah, I mean, you know, we want to make sure you're happy. Well, if I'm not happy, I don't have to pay you? Well, no, I mean, you still have to pay us. You see where I'm going? A USP is the reasons why somebody would choose you. If I make so many things, right? So many pieces together. You'd be like, this is dumb. Why would I choose anybody else? That's what you're looking for, right? Say you are going to Disney. Your trips to Disney. One's $1,000. One's $1,500. One's $2,000. You're like, well, $1,000, right? Boom. Yeah, because you in your brain, everything is the same. But for $2,000, I'm going to take you on a private jet. You don't have to wait in any lines, TSA, anything. We're going to get you there. We're going to walk you in to the limo and bring you in in style. Right to the front door of your hotel. We'll bring all your luggage up. You're already pre-checked in. Nothing to worry about that on the day two of your trip. We're going to walk you through the animator studio. We're going to show you a behind-the-scenes tour of how it's all made. You're going to see some amazing stuff and original cells from some of the original Disney cast. After that, you're going to have lunch with all of the Disney characters. And then from there... We're going to give you an amazing five-star Michelin meal, all catered by our private chef. Now, all of a sudden, you're like, well, well can we do, I mean, 2000 is not out of the ballpark. It's the most expensive option, but geez, look at all that you're getting as compared to $1,000 where I got to wait in some stinky plane two hours before TSA can you know, tell me to take my shoes, like all of those things in your brain, you're like, it would be dumb for me to spend a couple hundred dollars less and not get all that. It wins every time, not based on price. The more things you give somebody to focus on, the less they focus on price. If price is all they know, that's all they're going to shop. I always say this quote, but if I'm going to sell you something right now and you have to buy one of these three things, I have one item for a dollar, one item for $10, and one item for $100. Which one are you buying? I'm not going to tell you what they are. What, what are you buying? Everybody's like, well, the dollar. Some of you may be like, well, $10 because I don't want to buy the cheapest. Okay. None of you, not one of you, truthfully, you would be like, oh yeah, I'll gamble. I'll give you a hundred bucks for this mystery gift. Because in your head, you don't know what you're getting. But if I told you that it was a brand new Ferrari, 
you'd be like, oh gosh, yeah. Because now you know what it is. Price doesn't matter. Of course, I'd pay you $100 for that, right? It's the value that always is over the, the price. So USP is very, very, very important. If you don't have one, figure out your USP. And you got to be personal. You got to be personal. You have to connect with the person. If you answer the phone, hey, uh, thanks for calling. Uh, this is Jersey. People are like instantly, like, oh, hey, um, you know, they're like, this is just an unfortunate person to talk to. I'm not getting a good vibe. I'm not comfortable, right? I don't get that personality. If you're doing in on-site bids or your first impression, you do everything over the phone, you book it, and then you show up, and you're like, hey. Or you're like, oh, gosh. Oh, hey, how are you? How are you? Good, yeah. All right. Like, people are like, oh, uh, I'm not comfortable with you, in my right? If you're like, oh, how are you? Sorry, just don't talk loud. I was out drinking all night. People are like, I'm not comfortable with, right? So you have to look the part. You have to be energetic and exciting. I know people, I know people we've talked to who have increased their way that they talk and their excitement. You hear my dumb voice. Not that I'm always right about anything, but I always have inflections and pauses and it's the way you communicate, right? Mirroring is a great way to do that, right? If you talk to somebody and they're like, hey, how are you good to see you i'm glad you made it have a look around we'll get started well if i come in and go hey how are you great well this day's gonna go great we're gonna go super fast and instantly they're just not listening to you because you're on a different level if somebody's talking to you slow you talk back slower if somebody's talking to you fast you talk back faster right it's the way that you talk to somebody. It's your personality. Be what they want. Right? Make them comfortable with how you, your persona. And a big thing is looking the part. I know so many of you, and I know I have people in my head that I'm not going to say names, um, but there are people out there who look awful. Every video I've ever seen or every post I've ever seen, you look dirty. You look like you clean windows for a living. Right. Now people are like, well, why would I not look like that? That's what I do. I know. But if you clean windows for a living and you make it a priority to look nice, right? To have clean, awesome shirts, to have nice, unstained shorts, pants, whatever, clean shoes, great looking equipment, right? Your stuff's not beat up and you're pulling it out of a grocery bag. If you look the part, instantly it makes people feel comfortable. Oh, this guy's a pro. It's the reason why screen cleaners are so amazing, right? You take the screen cleaner, you put it in a driveway and people are like, oh, this guy, look at this stuff he's got, right? If you ever for one minute tell me that the equipment doesn't sell, these guys that are building their own systems, again, I know some of you do, it's cool. But some of these systems, they look like just dumpster fires. They're the most ugly, hideous things that just don't look at all professional. And you pull up with a wagon, right? I haven't seen any of you pull up with a wagon. But if you did, I'm not talking about you. But you pull up with this, this thing with, with duct tape and broken you know, fittings and, and uh, towels and the things leaking and spraying. And, and you're like, I'm here to clean your windows. People are like, oh, neat, right? But if you show up and your equipment is awesome, why do you think the Zero is running stainless shells on those ROs? They sparkle, man. They look super clean. The decals are on point. No one else cares in the industry if it says Zero or it says Washaboo. It doesn't matter. But to them, it matters when it looks like it's supposed to look, right? Same thing with poles. Same thing with... Um, you know, uh, buckets and a belt. If they're dirty and gross, if your sleeves are supposed to be white or just dirty, it's like, Ew, you're cleaning my w windows with dirty water. No, they're just stained. But if you're not keeping up with that stuff, you don't look the part. And if you don't look the part, people are not going to be comfortable with you. 
So land more work, right? The closing process is huge. It's huge because it's the reason you have work or you don't. If you're not happy with your close rate, more than likely, it's not your price. More than likely, you just haven't told them your value for that price. People who don't understand this will only sell on price. If you are selling only on price right now, change that. I'm telling you right now. It's going to be so much more uh, beneficial to your company to understand your value and to understand the experience. Anyway, we're done for the week, and I do definitely, definitely appreciate it. I would appreciate it even more if you put your orders in through me because that's how I get paid, man or ma'am. 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. Please call, text, whatever. Let me know what I can do for you. And uh, get the American Window Cleaner Magazine subscription. If you haven't gotten a subscription yet, what are you waiting for? This is absolutely amazing. It's fantastic to get a subscription. It's amazing. Not only does it help me out because I own the magazine, but (laughs) it also is awesome for the industry. The journalists take so much time. The articles are so well thought. The pictures that are in there, if you have pictures, send them in. Send them to uh, awcmagazine at gmail.com. That's the uh, layout's email. Send it over. We want to post the pictures. Pictures, people put in the pictures in the magazine. They're all from people like you. So go and do that. Uh, More importantly, uh, land some amazing work. Hope you guys are doing awesome. And uh, we will talk to you again next week. Until that time, go out there and be epic.